I'm in the garage, as you can tell, and I'm gonna be working on a project that I started last week, and hopefully we can finish it by the end of this week. It's actually a bookshelf. So um, yeah, I was buying too many books and I ran out of shelves. So I'm building a new bookshelf. All right, so those are the sides and these are the shelves. It's gonna be a very long, long, shallow, short bookshelf. I'm actually building it to fit a certain wall in our living room. So yeah, um, I'm really liking the color right now. And it was only one coat of stain, which I'm totally fine with. And now I'm just going to varnish it. So this is the varnish I'm gonna be using. And I was told very strongly by the guy at the paint section of the hardware store that um, I was not supposed to shake this, but I could stir it. So let's stir that. Haha, <laughs> you guys, look, I totally noticed today that I forgot to stain this one side. So, oh, I was getting ready for bed and I'm going to have to stain this one side before I go to bed so that I can complete the varnish um, at the same time as everything else. So, that is the plan. I'm going to do a quick um, coat of stain on this one. I'm going to be varnishing this side now for the first time on this side. We're working on the first thick coat on this side. We've done one light coat on each side and we've done a thick coat on the other side. Now we're going to do a thick coat on this side. Several months later. Hello. So, um, if you guys were watching some of my daily vlogs in May, um, I did some childhood vlogs. Anyway, I was building a shelf. We're finally to the end point. It only took a few months because things have been busy here in our household. But um, got the shelf built, put together just this afternoon. And just cracking open my bubbly. Um, and I'm going to put books on it and I'm really, really excited. So some of this might be sped up, but I'm gonna talk to you throughout the video as well. So yeah, let's see what it looks like. Okay, so I had actually finished the bookshelf um, maybe a, two, one or two months ago and I've just had it sitting on its bottom because I didn't have legs yet because I was waiting for them to arrive. I bought them online from Amazon. So I looked everywhere for furniture legs, guys. If you ever build furniture and you want to find furniture legs locally, like pretty much nowhere has furniture legs. It's kind of weird. But anyway, I finally found the ones I wanted. So I did have books on there um, for the last couple of months and yeah, I've taken them all off. Now we're going to put them on how I really want it. So yeah. So I custom built this piece to fit this wall exactly. And I'm loving it. I'm loving the height. I'm loving the gap underneath. Yes. Um, the plan is maybe to eventually put like a backboard on here, like one of those little thin, well, I don't know what you call them, but for now, it'll just be open to the back since the wall is just white anyway for now. But yeah, I'm just gonna do some sweeping.
All right, so the way that I had it organized before, um, I couldn't put anything on here because I hadn't put that brace in yet. So the top was empty, but I had all of my favorites on this shelf and all of my most anticipated reads on this shelf. So I think I'll do that again. I think I liked it, but I had in mind to put all of my Tolkien books on the top in a nice little display. So that's what we're going to do. So the way that I had my most anticipated reads um, organized was by genre. So I just kind of went through them. Now they're all mixed up, of course. It's hard to know sometimes. I don't know if you guys get this too, but like it's hard to know what genre some books are when you've never read them because like something can sound one way but the author is just trying to throw you off, right? So, um, I don't know all of these. They might be in the wrong genres. And then there's the whole like Christian is often a genre in itself, which is so inaccurate because there's so many genres just like with regular books. There's so many genres of Christian books, so maybe I won't separate Christian from mainstream books. Maybe I'll just put them in genres. Sometimes it's hard when like books fit two genres equally. Okay, we're gonna go with that, I guess. So I only have a handful of middle grade, so they will go at the end probably. And then like classic, like you can have an Isaac Asimov and like that could be considered a classic or like Pilgrim's Progress is a classic but also is, is I don't even know, is, I, I think it's supposed to be like an allegory, right? But is it fantastical or is it, I have no idea. So maybe I'll just put this one but is this middle grade, right? Like, uh, I think I would like a classic section. So let's just make one. All right, so first off, fantasy is the one that I'm most enjoying right now. So then I think I will pile them by size, probably. That makes sense, I think. You guys know I love these mass market. two Robin Hobbs and two Brandon Sanderson, so we'll put them together since they're very well-known authors. Maybe we'll go like that. I didn't actually want these braces in here, but books are heavy, so that's why I only made them half the depth, so that maybe I can hide them a bit. I do have some bookends that could work. It's a little dusty with all of our renovations. So those are nonfiction. Maybe nonfiction will go at the end. I don't know. So then I think science fiction naturally comes after fantasy.
probably, oh, that stack would work. But we have two braces. I also have this little guy. I thought he was pretty cute. I don't know. He's not, he doesn't really fit though. I've never really like decorated a bookshelf before, so I guess we'll see how this goes. Oh, I've got two Ted Deckers here. Didn't even realize. Oh, three. Haha, <laughs> three. Wow. So these are more so my historical fiction, perhaps? Yeah, like the Stephen Lawhead. I don't know if it's fantasy or... I mean, it says Scotland 1095. But still could be fantasy. Like this was more like these ones here I'm thinking are more contemporary suspense. Yeah. Well, this one's not contemporary, so maybe just suspense. So apparently I'm having camera issues, which is never fun. So this is where I'm at, I'm trying to figure out how to arrange these books. Still working on the most anticipated shelf. Um, then we've got our nonfiction. These I want this way. I do have, this is my um, little jar of bookmarks. It has one of these uh, page holders that I picked up from one of our later uh, road trips. It's got this little golden egg of, inside has all of the letters for my letter board. So. I don't know. We'll still need to figure something else. Oh, so this shelf. Let's experiment with our Tolkien collection. So okay, I, I mean, I guess I kind of like that for the moment. And then we need to pile up our favorite shelf. Um, oh. This one needs to go on the most anticipated. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna have a couple stragglers that are in the wrong spot. So let's just go about organizing these. This one's a tricky one. Um, I would really like to know where you guys shelve this book if you own it and have read it because I mean, I mean, it's fiction. It's not fantasy, it's not science fiction. It's like paranormal, maybe? I don't know, I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments down below where you guys would shelve the screw, the screw tape letters. I really love this book. Oh. I have some books that I, I don't have many in the same genre, so I just have like one of this genre that I like. And that makes things a little tricky sometimes. I guess I could put that there, but it's still its own thing. These ones, I'm only putting on my favorite shelf. This is the O'Malley series from D. Henderson, and they were 
such a favorite when I was a teenager. I read these books like it was daily nourishment. Like, I love these books. But honestly, I hesitate to reread them because I'm worried that I won't like them as much. But because I really loved them back then, I feel like they should be on my favorite shelf. I don't know. What do you guys think? Okay, well, maybe we'll keep them as same as the bottom shelf as we can. Maybe? See if that works. So our nonfiction and our middle grade. I have a graphic novel in here that I think I would put on its own, like not necessarily middle grade, but like I said, I only have one. So... Okay, so if we're gonna go by size again, I mean, or do we go by like most favorite? Or like, how do you, how do you shelve books? I don't know. I'd really like to feature Fox. Oh, I have an idea for that. Just a second. I really love Mark of the Raven, but because it's a trilogy, it's um like you need the space to like properly display all three so maybe they would just go on their own like that maybe See, like, is this a classic? Is this middle grade? Is this fantasy? Is all of them? I don't know. It's just my favorite, okay? So, uh, those are my favorite fantasies. And then if we're keeping in line with this, we have science fiction next. And I think this is my only science fiction series that is my favorite right now. I honestly haven't read a lot, so that's kind of why. And then we have like contemporary suspense, but also I feel like I want to put dry in here because because uh, it's contemporary, it's suspenseful, but not like in a murderous way, it's more in like a survival way, and that's the only book I have that has like a survival premise, sorry. And I sort of feel like science fiction should be a fantasy. Then it's a little mixed up. fiction which technically is next and I could cover this guy. Okay, let's do that. Okay, this would be the trilogy. I'd like to how do you feature a trilogy? It just doesn't work very well. This is the third book in this trilogy, but it, because it's a different edition, it's smaller, so it has to go on top. Like, this is the trilogy I would like to feature. I guess maybe that could work, right? Kind of works, but I always think, like, with these, um, 
paperbacks, like when you set them upright, you're putting stress on the paperback binding. And so, I mean, eventually it's gonna damage it. All right, so, oh, there's my bubbly. What do you guys think of my new bookshelves that I built all by myself? Pretty proud of myself. And I think it looks pretty good, actually. Now that all the books are on and my favorites are displayed. Cool, cool. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Let me know if I um, put any of the books in the wrong genre. Um, yeah, give me your tips on organizing, how you organize your bookshelves. If you decorate your bookshelves, how you stand up paperbacks. Uh, yeah. How you also, how do you feature favorites? Let me know. Let me know. Okay. Um, yeah. Have a lovely day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.